finally, Emmy Miller, all these laws, all these theories that involve symmetry are built on top of Miller's theorem. In fact, superstrings, the standard model of the standard model of physics, these are all called gauge theories. And gauge theories are built immediately on Miller's theorem. Every law, everything that they predict is ultimately predicted by something that you can get using Miller's theorem. So that's the reason that I think that Emmy Nuther made arguably the most important discovery of humanity. This relationship between the fabric of reality and the way reality is. So anyways, she moved to Bryn Mawr where she got a one-year position which she was got generously um, extended for a year. She had a reputation for being a very challenging teacher. She was the kind of teacher who would put a really hard problem on the board and then ask you how to do it by name. And this can be very painful, right? But she was one of those teachers that we've all had that at first we hated. And then as time went on, we realized, no, oh, wow, she's really cluing me into something. There's something special here. And then we really learned. So she had a squad of students that followed her around in Germany that ended up being called Mithers Boys. Of course, she didn't have any female students because there weren't any. And then she went to Bryn Mawr, where it was an all-female school. And it was the first time she'd, have, she'd had female colleagues, and she was very, very happy there. But in the, in, during her second year as an instructor at Bryn Mawr, she um, didn't feel well, and she didn't tell anybody about it. Um, she went to the doctor, and the next day she missed her lecture, and no one was like, I mean, no, there misses a lecture. It's never been done before in history. So she went to the doctor. She had an ovarian cyst. It was removed. It was 1935. Things didn't go too well, and she died two days later. From my impression of researching her is that this lack, this complete lack of notoriety that she had through her life and after her life, I don't think it mattered to her. I think she was very happy. I think she really enjoyed doing mathematics. She was well known for doing things like walking into, you know, walking into walls and stuff, thinking about math and forgetting things except her students and her classes. So those are good reasons to remember Emmy Nuther. So here's a list of things she did. And if, if any of you are real pure mathematicians, then you might be writhing in your seat that I didn't even mention her most important contributions. Because I don't really understand them, so I wasn't going to mention them. But I figured some of you might have known them. But she did a tremendous amount of work in non-commutative algebras. You remember that? That's where the law of the distributive property doesn't work. A times B is not equal to B times A. And um, group theory, um, which all seems to have to do with donuts. And hyper-complex numbers. And rings, and the theory of ideals in rings is known to be um, one of her greatest contributions. But as a physicist, and as an existence in this universe, for my money, Miller's theorem was really huge for all of us.